Hello everybody, I'm Soccer Bricks and welcome back to another LEGO video. In today's video we have another United Bricks haul. This is actually the order um, I previously made and lost in the mail. If you have seen the previous video I did, you'd uh, uh, know that already. But now I reordered that and it's finally here. And I actually added some more items to the original one, so it was already pretty big. But this is now a massive order. I think this is the pr probably the biggest one I did. And uh, let's just get into it. One more thing before I start. Uh, this is actually 280, around $280. And I have to say a huge thanks to United Bricks because I contacted them about the uh, lost order and they gave me a full refund. Uh, really helped me out. So they gave me a full refund and I just used the same money to reorder all the stuff and added some more from uh, my own but now I'm gonna rush this as fast as possible because there's a lot to cover and uh, I'm not gonna go in depth on anything I'm just gonna show you what I got so let's open these okay that's a lot of stuff wow all right, so first of all, here we, we have the swords pack. I ordered this originally for my medieval mock, but it's already too late. I'm definitely going to use these because these swords are really good. Let's go to some of the minifigures. This, these guys are actually waited on on the last day and then they dropped out. So I thought of getting them. The World War II British Paratrooper. Pretty sure I got two. Yep, here's the other. Is uh, one of them is uh, I forgot, but they're different types. And then the other one is a British Commando, so I thought they would go well together. Really happy with those. They were kind of a last minute thing. Here we have uh, Duke of Wellington for my British uh, Napoleonic uh, Air Army. And then we have these two, which I wanted to get for a while and finally found them in stock. There are these helmets with the uh, flag or symbols. This is the uh, the German one, the older two German. This is the Croatian flag. And this is the French one. I just think this will add some more detail and uh, variation in my army. So I'm very happy about with these. <laughs> now we got all of this so let's just dump this out so here are all the minifigures that I got other than the ones already shown I f kind of went into interest in getting some modern era guys because I thought they looked so cool but let's start with the Napoleonic era these I'm very excited about. I got two of these 95th rifles for the British Army. They're really nice rifles. The green coats, they just look fabulous. They say their names on the back here. Then I got their officer, of course, to go with those. So these will definitely be in my coming mock, which is a Napoleonic era mock. And then let's finish the World War IIs. Um, I've got a duck German for a future uh, desert mock with Germans and to counter that we have the British desert rat also for a mock and then for the modern era not really uh, like I don't know a lot about these but I just thought they look cool I'm probably gonna use them in a mock this uh, guy though, uh, he just looks so sick. This is the SAS operative. I think that's his name. Okay, so up in the bag here, as you can see, he's he has a dark blue body and some black printings with a vest. The lighting is kind of hard to see. because It's all uh, dark on dark colors. But he has a nice hood with the gas mask. I just need to this is correct having the head to the front more 
At the back, we just have the continuation of the jacket here. And yeah, it comes with the gun. Don't have, I don't know his name. I uh, don't know the gun's name, of course, because it's modern. Here we have, pretty sure this is a German uh, soldier here. Pretty cool. I love the uh, small mic thing that they have around their necks. I got some more individual ones. Then we have two of these US Marines. These were why I got some modern stuff because they just look so cool. Got one in the brown skin flesh and one in the light skin flesh. So yeah. Now on to the accessories. I have so much stuff here. Gonna kind of struggle to get into all of this because it's a bunch of names, but let's just try our best. First of all, we have these right shields one for my, squ uh, my SWAT team, which I'm gonna be using in the city, and the other is for a future mock, which I'm gonna keep that a secret for now. Then we have some modern guns. Let's finish those. Have this car. Really love like that he has a uh, printing. Some black accents here with the magazine in black too. Love that. Um, what else do we have? Forgot this gun's name, but it's quite a known one. A grenade launcher. An AK. Which isn't really for these uh, modern guys, it's probably for the enemies. I think this is called the FFAR. But I might be wrong. Also got that. <coughs> I have just another uh, submachine gun. Or forgot this gun's name. But I think it's the in the new Battlefield 2042 game. Which I do play. But kind of disappointed about it. Anyways, um... Now let's go to some older two guns. Just got the MP40. I have a rocket launcher with the shield here. Always wanted to get these, so I finally got one. Um. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just realized I didn't actually get this gun. These are all freebies, which are very, very cool. So all these guns are freebies here. I got. Two free, really useful guns in gun gun metal. This pistol with the scope. This machine gun or submachine gun. A translucent orange axe here, which is the same axe uh, as the one in the pack. Then Ray's Star Wars gun in this translucent green, light green color. I'm very happy about these. So thanks to United Bricks. We have some swords here. I got two claymores. Uh, I got one of these for the Napoleonic area officers. And some guns for them. Pistols for the officers and some muskets for the infantry. Okay. And then we have some headsets, I got three of those, some goggles, I'm pretty sure I got three, yep, these are two here, and then some gas tanks, these are useful for added detail in a mock, and these is extra vests and uh, waist pieces are for some custom modern troops I'm going to do. So we'll put those aside. These are actually for my SWAT team, which I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I already have a SWAT team, but it's not really the best. This, oh, it's like one of them, one of these caps, but in black. Just wanted to try one of them out. And they have a black vest here. And that's it for the accessories. Alright guys, so that was it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. 
as you can see I bought a lot of stuff but that's because it's basically two orders combined but I'm very happy about this uh, hopefully a lot of future mocks will inc uh, include these figures and accessories so look out for those and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the coming video goodbye